So I made my chain multiples of two and I added two at the end. So this will be our base chain or our foundation chain. For the first row, we are going to skip the first two chains and we're going to make one double crochet cluster on the third chain. How to make it is we're going to make a double crochet and but we're not going to finish it. We're going to yarn over. We're going to skip this chain and we're going to insert our hook on the next chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have three loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops and make a chain. And and chain to close. So now we have made our first double crochet cluster. Now we have to make the next one and we're going to insert our hook on this uh, last chain that we use. This one is the second double crochet and this will be the first one that we're going to use. Yarn over again, we're going to skip again next chain and we're going to insert on the next chain. So this is the chain that we're going to use for the next double crochet cluster. Don't forget to make a chain of one. Again, yarn over using the last stitch that we made or the last stitch that we use. Skip one chain, insert your hook on the next chain, and do your double crochet cluster. Don't forget to chain one. So we're going to repeat our double crochet cluster until the last chain. Skipping one chain. Three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops, chain one. Again, yarn over, insert the hook on the last chain that we use, In, uh, skip one chain, insert on the next chain, yarn over, pull through two loops. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops and chain one. Repeat until the last chain. Remember to always skip one chain. This is almost the same as uh, double crochet together. But this one, we skip one chain. Going to make the last one. Skip. Chain one, and on the last chain, we're going to make one double crochet. So to move up for our next row, chain three, turn your work, and we're going to start our double crochet cluster on the first chain. Yarn over, we skip one chain, which is this one, and we're going to make use of the next chain. 
chain one again insert a hook on the last chain that we use we're going to skip this chain we have a chain here and we're going to make use of the next one you can view from the top so we're going to skip this chain yarn over if you are going to look on top we're going to miss or skip this chain and we're going to make use of this one Skip this chain and use the next chain. Chain one, don't forget to make a chain of one. skip chain one and we still have our turning chain here so we're going to make one double crochet on our turning chain oops So that will be our repeat very easy so chain three again turn your work and we're going to make use of that chain the same chain and we're going to start our double crochet cluster skip this chain insert your hook on the next one chain one Skip this chain, chain Chain one again. So that will be a repeat for your entire project. You can make this as long as you want. If you're going to make a scarf also, you can use the stitch so easy to remember and then it's just one row repeat as well skip one chain just don't forget to make a chain of one otherwise you'll mess up the next row
This uh, crochet pattern as well doesn't have much hole on it if you're going to make use of a smaller hook. Again, I'd like to make mention that I have a discount uh, coupon or a discount code for a Pomemomo label printer for a Pomemo label printer if you're interested to buy, if you need one. They have so many models to look uh, for. And I have a discount uh, code. You can make use of that. That is 10% uh, discount. So I will just put a link here on top of our video on the iCard and on the description down below. You can check their website as well. They have all the different kinds of thermal printer. So no need for you to buy the ink. So every time you start a row, chain three, turn your work and you're going to insert your hook on the very first chain to start with your double crochet cluster. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. Happy crocheting everyone and God bless.